I am so proud of Cars 3. We set out to make uh, another adventure of Lightning McQueen, but we wanted to get a deep emotion in it like the first Cars 1 had. Cars 2 was such a fun movie and, and a big spy movie romp, but we wanted for Cars 3 to go back to, to the roots of racing and Lightning McQueen and his passion for it. But we used the time from the original to now to really talk about as an athlete who's at the top of his game starts seeing new young rookies that are even faster come up, what do you do? When you used to, you used to be the hot young rookie and, and what do you do? And that's really an interesting story and the story really became a story of mentorship, which is such an important thing. I know because I, I oversee so many movies and work with so many directors and filmmakers and people, and I find myself in Lightning McQueen's shoes of starting being the young punk doing Toy Story, and now I feel like I know what it feels like to mentor so many great talented people, and you do get tremendous satisfaction out of that. We also wanted to have a really strong female character in this, and and Nancy's wearing yellow for for Cruz Ramirez, and we love Cruz Ramirez. She is she's such a great great character, and he, I think audiences will be really surprised when it's over to realize what a a strong female empowerment movie Cars 3 is. You don't expect it, but it's really special. And developing this movie, we spoke to our good friend Jeff Gordon, the famous NASCAR champion, and he's become a dear friend. And in talking with him, it's about his own journey, you know, of, of being the young rookie to you know, then becoming a champion and now being a kind of elder statesman of the sport. And it was really interesting. And in, in talking to him, um, it really started in, in realizing it's a, it's a lot like the journey that like McQueen's going on. And we wanted to have the young rookies represented by really, really cool looking cars. Right, really cool looking cars. Because we wanted, the, as soon as Jackson Storm comes on the screen, you realize, oh, look at how old Lightning McQueen looks. Right, he looks, he was designed to be, reflect more of the classic sports cars, you know. And, and, and so when Jackson Storm comes in, he looks so modern and so cool. And it really, he's just like, wow. I feel like I'm standing still next to him. And then when Cruz Ramirez comes in, in that beautiful yellow color of hers, it was a challenge because she is a trainer, but, it, but she does be, you know, get a chance to race, and so you wanted the design of the car to really look like a trainer, but then it, 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 she, she fits on the racetrack as well. And so it was really fun in, in developing the characters, but we also wanted to go back into the history and the history of Piston Cup is inspired from the history of NASCAR with, with these you know, old cars that were racers and they ran moonshine and, and all of that. And we really have, and we have some legendary you know, racers do actual voices you know, in the movie and we're really proud of that, trying to get the authenticity there.